What's up, everybody? This is Caillou Black here with another Eternal Return Black Survival video. We are here today with the release and the announcement of Nathapon, the next test subject on Lumia Island. All right, guys. So, you know, I saw... I'm going to tell you this right now. I was looking at the roadmap earlier today, or I guess yesterday, because it's the new day now. But I saw... There was a bunch of, they're adding 24 new items, and there was like a bunch of cameras. And I totally, I was like, oh, cool, they're like making new weapons, and I guess they have like vision range or something like that. But then I realized, wait a second. This Nathapon guy, he has cameras. They're making a new weapon. So, this could be a new weapon, I expect, in this character with this test subject. So, you know, without further ado, let's watch, and let's see what's going on. All right, I'm really excited. All right, check out the th okay, blah, blah, blah. Aethapon is ready to capture all the beauty and destruction of that befalls Lumia. You might want a second guess getting your portrait taken by him. If your reflection shines on the lens, it might end up being your last image. All right, all right, cool. All right, equipment. The nomadic photographer has to have his own equipment to get the perfect shot. Let's take a look at see exactly what lenses he'll be behind. So, so yeah, exactly. We see here, this is the normal one, so I guess this is what you start with in terms of the your camera weapon. Then these two, you can build either this pistol camera or the trail camera, and it turns into these. Okay, compact camera, range finder, carbine camera, carbine camera, and then the epics, mirrorless, les, laser designator, cannon camera, and VICG. All right, so, I'm very excited. Let's see how many weapons that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. There's ten weapons that Nathan Pond is going to be getting. So that means fourteen other items are going to be coming to Louis either are not related to him or that everyone can kind of build. I'm assuming. So, anyways, let's get into this footage, guys. I'm very excited to go over this once again before. I I start, make sure you guys want, like the video, all right? Make sure you guys like and subscribe for more herbs content, okay? All right, let's get into this. And I'm gonna make sure, now that the spotlight is only gonna be done through the video now, instead of the description, I'm gonna make sure we pause it and we're gonna read it and we're probably gonna go over it a little bit. All right. And I'm gonna lower this. Last time, okay. Time for a new trip. Slow shutter. Nathapon captures every moment that he can on camera. His attack speed is fixed, but his normal attacks deal extra skill damage. Uh oh. Uh oh. Extra skill damage. Okay. Combining a surveillance camera with branch creates an infiltration camera with infiltration effects. Okay. Wow. So he's going to have to use sticks. He's going to have to use the branch in order to. Use this. Push your shirt. He puts down this. So slow shutter. Okay. So these are the trail cameras. I guess he can only make that. I wonder if anywhere else can make that. Passive. Dealing damage to it. Oh, snapshot. Passive dealing damage to an enemy applies picturesque. Each stack of picturesque increases Nathapon's damage, so he ramps up. So he. Enemies lose all stacks of picturesque when they disappear from Nathapon's vision. Ooh. Nathapon snaps a photograph at the targeted area, doing damage. Enemies with max stacks of picturesque are slowed. I wonder how this snaps a photograph at a targeted area. I wonder how what this area is like. Hmm. So let's take a picture of the dummy. Is he just like, if he points there? Time lapse. Nathapon takes a time lapse, dealing damage to enemies per second in range. Takes a time lapse, dealing dam damage to enemy per second in range. Enemies in the time lapse are slowed. The final photograph deals extra damage and roots subject in frame. Where's this camera coming from? Does he have to, oh, okay, wait, hold on. Okay. Oh, I like that effect. That's kind of cool. And this is, looks like a skill shot. Well, it looks like they call kind of all skill shots. That that W kind of reminded me of like Hedgen's uh, 
Is that her W? I think that's her W where she puts like this little rectangle, little card thing down. All right, Panorama. Nathan Vaughn takes a photo with his telephoto lens in a targeted direction. Photograph enemies take damage and are slowed. Cool. If the photo lands, it'll leave a mark in that area after a few seconds. Nathan Vaughn's next normal attack deals extra skill damage to the photographed enemy and knocks them back towards the mark. Back towards the mark. Nathan Vaughn's attack range is increased when attacking the enemy marked with panorama. The mark disappears when the enemy is knocked back or moves away from the mark. Oh man. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I like this. I like how this is okay. Let me let me stop right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is why I like Nemo Neuron. This is why I like herbs, and I like this is why I like this game because they take these random things and make like like a person like Eleven. He has a hamburger. She has a fork, and she's just like fighting with that, and that's like her hammer or whatever. Like they're they're being creative with like the weapon because I was like when I saw this first saw Nathan Paul I had no idea how this person was gonna fight but it looks like he's just gonna be taking pictures and that's just like his fighting thing I, I like that you know it's different all right and his R Nathan Paul snaps a photo of everything in the targeted area all photograph enemies are put into stasis and are unable to perform any action wow. Photographs, enemies, gains a stack of picturesque. Hmm. What's a bit of stasis? That seems really strong. Just be able to, like, it's just like a stun for every, like, it's an AoE stun. Seems pretty good for teams, if you ask me. I wonder how you, wow, whoa. Weapon skill. Flash D. Oh, okay. So this is the weapon skill now. Turn your flash on in the targeted direction, dealing damage. Enemies facing you take additional damage and are blinded. Flash in the targeted zone. Okay. So it's kind of like Cassiopeia if you're looking at them. That's a cool mechanic. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. It's, and it's something to do with, it's something to do to combat like auto attackers and stuff like that when you're blinded. And you know, I mean, we've seen Sue with blind, and that seems pretty good. So, as a weapon skill too, nice. Ready? So yeah. Ugh. I like this. I like his auto attacks. I, I like the clicking sound too. So the combos here were just like R. W, this does not seem like the combo. I'm not gonna lie, this does not seem like the combo. This this W, she's just standing still. This R takes a while. It's kind of quick, actually. That W takes a while. Are we really gonna be able to do all that? You're gonna have to like, just like back to back use that. Wow. Okay. All right, and let's just see what is they're doing here. Yeah, it seems like you need to use that E first to knock them back into the W. I don't know if you would just throw out the W like that. You just walk out of that. Unless you can, like, reactivate it again. Oh, my God. That's how he does his W? Is this how he does the alt? That's pretty cool. That's a decent slow. That's a decent long. That's a decent amount of time for that stasis. Oh my god, the range on the the range on the E. Oh, I like this character. Wait, why did he get? Wait, did this VR just get sent back. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'm just gonna let it play for the rest of the time right now. I just it's just because it's just a new character, new cam, new weapon. Just seeing how things interact with each other. I just want to see this one more time. So. He's able. He just sends it right back to the camera. The center. Huh. Whoa. This character seems like. This character seems pretty good. 
I mean, obviously we're gonna have to see the damages, but I think I would like this character. I like auto attacking. I like weaving in autos when it comes to playing characters. Like I've been really into William recently. This is all his animations right now. And that's his death animation. Oh man, he can do that to himself too. Oh my God. If you're playing squads or teams or duos, you're gonna be definitely trolling your teammates with that or saving them. I mean, yeah, he has no escapes though. So that's he's more kitey than he's more kitey than William. He's got more util. Hmm. This is this is awesome though. I like this. I like the I like the the particles of the skill. I like that little sh light blue shine. Cacao games. Nice. That's and that's I mean it's a Korean game, so what do you expect? Alright, Nathan Pong will be out July 22nd, so pack some extra batteries and get ready to go snap some pics of Lumia Island that'll give everyone some FOMO. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's cool. Oh, look at all those. Those are the pictures that he's taking. That's great. That's awesome. That's, you know, that's going to be the highlights for sure. All right, guys. Um, So I guess my overall impressions of this character, I think this character looked like it's going to be a lot of fun. I think this character is going to be really hard to pilot. This character does not have any mobility. So this character is going to get run down by like people like Fiora and stuff like that. So it's going to be really important to be able to Make sure you put out the util. Make sure you kite properly. Make sure you keep your distance on these this thing. So we'll see how he goes. He might not be as fun as he looks. He might not be as strong as he might not be strong just because I just feel like people like Bernice, William, um, Bernice, William. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Those two in particular, those are the first two people that come to mind how they don't really have mobility at their range and they struggle because if they get caught, then they're, they're just, they're just done. People are really getting better, really getting good at dodging the William W stun and people, well, it's kind of harder to dodge Bernice's stuff at times. Um, but if these people use their mobility or their gap closes or anything like that, you could probably use uh, the R, you could probably use the E, the W in order to kite back and stuff like that. But he's going to be really tough. But you know what? We're going to show you guys some gameplay when he comes out. I can't wait to play this guy. I'm not going to lie. Nikki wasn't like my character to play. I wasn't really too... I played a little bit of her. She wasn't really my vibe. But this character, I think this character would be pretty fun. And I think I'd like him. All right, guys. So if you guys like the... So that... And the, so that concludes the end of this video, guys. If you guys like it, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe down below for more herbs content. I cannot wait for this. Season three is on the way. Well, at least pre-season three. There's going to be a lot of stuff coming in. And it's I, I'm going to fall in love with the game all over again. I mean, I, I still love the game. I was playing a lot earlier today. It was really fun. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.